I'm Garrett Tomlinson with Alpine Stars. Uh, we're out here at Milestone to launch the Alpine Stars SuperTech M10 helmet. The unique features of the SuperTech M10 helmet start with its outer construction. Uh, externally, you see it is a 3K high dense weave carbon fiber shell and then has two other internal uh, layers of different materials, Aramid and Dyneema, to give it high impact protection and dissipate energy across the entire shell. Um, as you move from the top to the bottom of the helmet, you'll notice it is extremely streamlined, uh, very low profile, nothing sticking out, uh, very nice and contoured to fit perfectly around the head to give you the smallest, most compact fit, but the highest level of comfort possible. One very unique feature that's easy to see from the outside is this structure ridge down through the chin bar. So this structure ridge allows for two different things. It gives a higher level of strength to the actual chin bar of the helmet so you can have large vents, but it also raises the bottom of the helmet, the base pad of the helmet. So right in this area where it would sit right above the rider's collarbone is actually a uh, essentially a crumple zone. So it's built to deflect energy from the clavicle in the event of a crash. Um, externally, you can also tell tons of venting uh, to the helmet, large vents up through the top of the helmet, large vents through the middle, and then large exhaust vents to pull that air through the entire helmet. And then moving to the chin bar, those vents I had mentioned earlier, and then large vents that pull more air in uh, and then circulate it through that helmet. Another very unique feature to the Alpine Stars M10 helmet is its visor release system. Um, this system was designed to dissipate energy and release the visor in any different angle of impact uh, with a significant force. This system is held on in a very unique way with a different system than anything else uses. This system utilizes three captive, uh, captive holders that actually integrate into the back of that visor. And what those do, the little fingers actually hold that visor in place. So if it has an impact from top, from the front, it will relieve the energy of the actual visor and then dissipate it so then it isn't transferred to the rider's spine. As you start to move to the inside of the helmet, first starting with the chin pads, with the ERS, the emergency removal system, makes it very simple in the case of an accident to remove the cheek pads very easily. Uh, once you actually remove the cheek pads from the helmet, then you get into the crown liner system. The crown liner system of this helmet also houses the MIPS system. Um, this is a very unique MIPS system to the SuperTech M10 helmet. It's actually inset into a Lycra sock. Uh, what that does is it actually works with the outer shell of the helmet even greater to dissipate energy uh, in the event of a crash. And it is a, it's a split MIPS design, so you actually have the crown and then you have another set of MIPS that sits under the actual top liner that is the Alpine Stars A-Head system. The Alpine Stars A-Head system is a unique system that allows for perfect fitment of the helmet. You can actually adjust the way the helmet sits on the head. So if you want the helmet to sit higher or lower, the A-Head system can be adjusted to give you uh, that difference of vision or even if you want to tilt it forward or back. The EPS liner is extremely unique to this being it's in four separate densities and in different sections. So the chin bar, the actual back of the head, the temporal, and then the actual crown of the head all have separate pieces, uh, which allow greater dissipation of energy in an impact. For other info on the Alpine Stars SuperTech M10 helmet, please visit alpinestars.com. Brock was the first one that I obviously seen wearing the Alpine Stars helmet and um, <clears throat> thought it was cool, didn't think much of it. I was in a bell at the time and um, you know wore the bell for roughly almost a year now or had been a, almost a year and um, you know kind of nothing came of it from uh, you know the company standpoint which was which was no big deal um, and once I got my hands on an Alpine Stars helmet I think it was Anaheim one, maybe. I was really impressed with it and uh, with the weight and, and uh, I don't. I believe it wasn't my size there, but just the weight, the construction, the build of, of you know just the attention to detail that Gabrielle puts into into all of his products. Um, you know, and at that point, I was like, hey, you know, let me know if, if you know 
potentially I can wear it or want me in it. So it, uh, it came about and it was, it was a cool deal because I've been with Gabrielle for a really long time um, in multiple products, but now it's, it's uh, been in his boots for, for many, many, many years and um, you know, wouldn't switch, um, wouldn't go anywhere else because you know, safety is a big, big key feature with, with I think, boots and, and helmet. And I knew the, you know, the time that he puts into his product, mm -hmm. the helmet was going to be was going to be good. So finally, once I got it, tried it on, felt the weight of my size. I was like, wow, this thing's, this thing's really good, really cool. And um, you know, ended up riding in it, and you know, everything about it, the ventilation, the fit. Um, once again, the, the weight when it's on your head while you ride is, is uh, was really good. So I was uh, stoked to be able to, you know strike a deal with with him and and you know be wearing it